Hey friends and fam, welcome back to the channel. I, like many of you watching, probably am pretty addicted to my phone. I rarely leave the house without it, and on that rare occasion that I do, it almost instills a sense of panic being without it. But I've recently realized that I'm actually addicted to two additional devices other than my phone, my iPad and my MacBook Pro. And I got to thinking, if you could have only one device for the rest of your life, which would it be? If you're only addicted to your phone, then the answer might be simple for you, but my answer might surprise you. So possible life. <laughs> yeah, sung it. I used to be one of those people who overpacked for a trip. I would bring a backup to the backup just in case something went wrong. And I was recently packing for a trip. We went to the Red Rocks to hike. And I found myself not wanting to leave behind any one of these three electronic devices. I knew that on the trip they wouldn't necessarily be needed or even used, but I could not find myself able to leave them behind. Each of these three I find myself using daily and they each have their own purposes, especially when it comes to productivity. I use my iPhone primarily to track my to-do list for the day, as well as in the morning, it's got my app where I track my workouts and my food. I rarely use it for its intended purposes of an actual phone because I'm not a big phone talker, but I do text on the daily. And when I take my breaks in the morning from work to go outside and get some sun, I'll often sit on my phone and scroll through Instagram or Twitter. Now, when it comes to my iPad, I've mentioned more than once on this channel that that is what I use to write my morning pages each day. I went paperless a while back and I also keep what would normally be a paper planner but a digital version on my iPad where I will take a few minutes in the morning to just kind of set an intention for the day. I'll write down three or four things that are simple that I'm grateful for that morning as well as keep a list of all of my meetings so that at a glance I don't switch any screens or anything, I can just see what I have scheduled for the day. And I'll use it to write scratch notes every once in a while if I can't take digital notes because I'm sharing my screen or if an idea or something that's not work related comes to mind while I'm sitting there doing my work, I'll just jot it down in my iPad. And then there's my MacBook. Oh, my MacBook, I love that thing. But I generally don't pick it up until around lunchtime each day. I like to kind of sit and watch maybe a YouTube video or a Skillshare class while I'm having my lunch. And then sometimes I'll take a few minutes to do a little bit of work on my videos. I definitely pick it up in the evenings. I try to dedicate at least 20 minutes to maybe an hour each evening on working on my videos. So I'll do things like brainstorming video ideas, writing my scripts, or doing my editing. I love all three of these devices and I feel like I've really got it dialed in well as to the use for each one. And I definitely do use them each and every day. But if I had to choose, if I could only have one of these three devices for the rest of my life, which one would it be? I'm gonna have to go with the iPad. It's by no means ideal, but it's the most versatile of the three of them. And the thing that sells it the most for me is this little guy right here, the Apple Pencil. I'm paperless to be sure, but I still do have that need to feel like I'm writing something down. Sometimes when it comes to brainstorming or being creative and I just wanna sketch or get something out, nothing feels as good as being able to put pen to paper. And I even use a screen protector that is called Paper-like, and it kind of takes away that glossy feel that I don't like when writing on the screen, and it feels a lot more like the real thing. I've said before that the morning pages have changed my life, and I wouldn't trade that for anything, and they definitely do make a difference that you're handwriting them versus trying to type into a journal or something like that. And if one look at the screen protector on this thing, which is only a couple months old, will show you how much I write on this thing. Although it wouldn't be ideal and it would slow things down, the iPad can be used for anything the other two devices do. I have never made a phone call on it, but I know how to FaceTime. I'm sure there's an app for talking or I could just give up talking on the phone because I'm antisocial anyway. And I could put my Todoist app on there. All of the apps and things that I use on my phone could be on there. And it definitely does text messaging. 
Um, I could also use it for anything that I do on the MacBook. It would definitely slow things down to try to use it for editing my videos, but it is possible. Now, if I could really only choose one personal device to have for the rest of my life, I'd probably go ahead and take the plunge and get the iPad Pro because that thing's insane. Thankfully, I don't have to choose. I'm lucky enough to be able to have all three of these amazing devices and all is right with my world. If you had to choose, what would you choose? Are you only addicted to your iPhone? Do you have any other devices that you love? I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.